Hey, 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 what's up, Cowboys Nation? Um, real quick, there's something I want to get out, you know, get out the way. Um, the whole Colin Kaepernick issue. A lot of people, um, they're, they're siding with, uh, the media, Stephen A. Smith, etc. Um, about, you know, the way Cap decided to handle, uh, this, uh, private workout. Now, just to put it out there, I mean, it's been about, what, three three years since um, since he's been trying to, you know, get signed back into the NFL. So, uh, I'm pretty sure he's aware that he can be, he can possibly, you know, be uh, blackballed or um, set up to where it doesn't look like he's ready to produce on a, uh, on an NFL stage when, when you can look at so many teams quarterbacks where he can where he's obviously a better player and he can really help these teams out um but for me honestly it's all about trust like he he obviously doesn't trust the NFL I mean like just think about it this is a quarterback so um like me personally would you rather um you know audition with the people you've been auditioning with people you are comfortable with that's going to give you um, they're all effort. Uh, every, well, just giving them effort on every play, every route, et cetera. While you're, while you're trying to make a team, um, they wanted to just give him, you know, NFL equipment guys, people they probably already talked to. Hey, don't do this. Don't try this. You know, I'm not saying that's what happened, but I'm just saying that this is possible. This is these are possibilities as to why me, me just being, you know. Just trying to be the trying to put myself in the best situation. I, I don't think it's I don't think he's wrong for dealing with people he's comfortable with rather than just the people that you know the the NFL would rather see him work with. And um, it was things coming out about uh, whether he's um, whether well the main reason why he switched the um, the facility. Like yeah, I mean. If I can't record or I can't have my own video proof of what I did, then what? Why? What am I doing this for? I'm I'm basically just doing this as a private workout, and then whatever you guys spin on it, as far as the media, that's all we got to go off of. Like that's all the mass, all the masses, that's all the population, that's all we can live off of and go off of is based off of what they're saying on ESPN and ESPN Radio and all this stuff. It's like. Come on, man! Like, so it's like now that now that they're trying to make it seem like uh, Cap disrespected the league by s- switching up the uh, location and all this other stuff. Like, come on, man! Like, he's been trying for three years to get back in the in the NFL. So this is his one shot. You mean to tell me he can't full out have control over who he's working with? Like, I don't. That's just how I feel about it. So I'm not going to make this whole video about. Uh, this cap situation because we got some Cowboys news to talk about. Um, shout out to the Cowboys, man! Great win um, over over the Lions, and I'm definitely definitely uh, overdue for a new um, a new update, man. A new upload. I just I, I took some time out, had to get some things together, but um, yeah, man. Uh, just the whole the, the Cowboy the Cowboy Nation, man. Y'all have to really y'all have to really understand that. They don't give out Super Bowls for teams that go 16 and 0. They don't go. They don't give out Super Bowls for teams that blow out every team. Like that doesn't happen. And you and we know it. We know it more than any other team in in the in in the actual NFL. If you look at all these wins, all these great seasons we had with Jason Garrett and Romo and everybody, man, we won 12 games, 13 games, 14 games. We've done that. And we lo- and we lose in the first second round of the playoffs. So it's like at some point, man, do y'all do y'all really can do y'all really want to get on the same roller coaster every single week? Like you guys are lining up, fighting, jipping line, like the, like it's the Popeye sandwich, man. Like come on, like you guys you guys put yourself on this emotional roller coaster every week because you expect dominance. You want these teams to dominate like they're playing one double A college football or 
Like, come on, these are all pro teams. I mean, of course, there's there's some teams that aren't talented based off of um, just drafting. Like, the Cowboys, the Cowboys built their team off of drafting. And then you see teams trading all their draft picks. And then you see teams receiving those draft picks and still making the wrong choice. So shout out to the Cowboys staff for, you know, making uh, making great, great decisions when it comes down to bringing in young talent. But th- the key word was young. Do you understand that now with this Cowboys team, how how open our Super Bowl window is? Man, it got to be at least six years, six to eight years. Like, do you see the nucleus and how strong this team is? You know what I mean? So it's like you really have to understand that. Shout out to I just want to give out um, a couple props to some to some uh, some players that pretty much upgraded, uh, improved. Uh, not just that, because I mean that's that's easy. That's the easy one. Like we all can see that, and then you can see like uh, like all the people that's trying to go back and recant their statements. <laughs> like it's 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 crazy, man. If you if you really look at and pay attention to all the the cowboy fans, the old cowboy players, the ESPN analysts, uh, this this anybody that covers sports media, um, a lot of them. Oh man, they they hated that. They, they had no confidence in him. They didn't think he could ever reach to the level that, he, that he's that he been on since, I believe, the middle of last year. Like, a lot of people were just looking at this year. Like, oh, that no, no, no. Dak started this run last year. And even before, like, even his rookie year, you know, he, he made... He made solid, solid plays, clutch plays that you won't expect out of a fourth-round player. So that's just something to look at. But as far as other uh, huge improvements over the over the season, I would definitely go with Layout Layout Collins, man. Oh man, this guy. He's making like if I can if you can if you can choose another player, um, that's that's like the key, the key improviser or the key component to um, Dak Prescott comfortability and improvement it's it's layout Collins. like when you when you know the, the tackles are pretty much uh dominating um edge rushers which are pretty much usually the edge rusher on a defense is probably the best um pass rusher on that team and when you when you realize the fact that Dak doesn't have to worry about those two uh those two players then that opens up the fact that he can sit back there and just oh man he can sit back there and play Madden like oh man break this tackle if he even do get close to me you know because Dak's a big boy man so he can sit in that pocket and he can deliver the ball and he's putting the passes you know on the money um for, I'll say about 80% of the time sometimes the ball um isn't the best pass in the world and we you know we get that but we, he also he also shows that he's that he worked hard in the off season. You can see that. So big ups to uh, Layout Collins, man, because he's definitely he's definitely um, Pro Bowl. Oh man, he's definitely Pro Bowl. I, I can't I can't really um, see a rat a right tackle playing better than him right now. So uh, and then you guys, <laughs> the funny thing is that um, the whole safety situation with uh, Thompson. Like Thompson had a couple good games, two games, and then last week or a uh, couple days ago against the Lions, you guys want to you know hang him by by the strip by the thread. Like yo, get him out of here, man. We we want Jeff Heath back. Like <laughs> yo, Cowboys Nation, man, y'all make it so difficult, man. Cause like the way I look at it, man, like this they play four quarters for a reason. Y'all guys, man, y'all give up eight minutes into the first quarter. Like relax, man. Like get these guys some some chance. Uh, give them a chance to adjust. Because when you, when you play for the Cowboys, man, you you can be. It doesn't matter what you did last year when you're a Cowboy. It doesn't matter. That team that's that you're coming in, that's coming in to face you, they're going to give you their A plus game because they know this is the Cowboys. This is the America's team. If I if I compete and if I put up great numbers on this team, I can somehow you know change my change my whole career. 
because I did this and this against the Cowboys. Like the guy again, the guy from the Falcons that sat that five or six times. That was probably it. You probably never really seen him again on a highlight reel or anything, you know, on that to that nature. So you so so teams are teams and players they're 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 going against the Cowboys like like the Cowboys won a Super Bowl last year. So that I'm not saying um like I'm giving them an excuse, but I'm just saying like you have you have grown men, professionals that are pretty much working harder just to beat you. So sometimes, you know, some quarters we don't we don't execute as well or we out game plan to that nature. But hey man, it's four quarters. It's four quarters. So um we'll be alright, man. I just I just wanted to reach out to those two guys and also uh Robert Quinn is doing his thing. Like if if there's any way possible we can uh bring this guy back next year, we you do that. You you bring him back because what he's doing is he's taking advantage like no other um right in. When you when you have a left in like tank one that you know that commands attention, whether it's a tight end chipping or a running back chipping or even two offensive linemen, a tackle on the guard. You have to step up if you're opposite uh Demarcus Lawrence. You have to. And for a guy that was suspended two games, got some tread on the tires, man. A little, a little too, a little old. A lot of people gave up on Robert Quinn, man. Talking about he's too old for this and he's too old for that, man. You see this dude and he is producing, even when he's not getting there with the sack, man. He is there. He's he's getting there. So shout outs to him, man. We gotta bring him back. Um, another. Another upgrade, I believe, is the uh, Randall Cobb situation over Cole Bees. Like, you guys got to stop this shit. For real. You really got to stop this. This, oh, we miss Cole Beasley, and Cole Beasley wouldn't have... No, 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 man. Listen, I don't give a, I don't give a damn how many times... Take that back. Rand, Randall Cobb does have uh, some bad drops on his record. But if you look at what he does when he catches the ball... No, I mean, Cole Beasley would never... Like the only way Cole Beasley is 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 making these plays that you see Randall Cobb making is somebody's going to his attributes and they juicing this motherfucker. Like they giving this man eighty seven brick tackle and and <laughs> like come on man like like acceleration and all that. It's like come on these are play like come on man like we we know we know what Cole Beasley does and I'm not and I'm not saying anything bad about him. As far as like he's not a good player, but I'm just saying the the addition of Randall Cobb is night and day. It's so it's a big difference. Like there's no way Randall Cobb will will not outperform Cole Beasley. Like who? Come on, guys, come on. He, we seen it over and over again. We seen him make tremendous plays, focusing, and we we just we just haven't seen these certain plays come from Cole Beasley. So. I'm going to always ride for Randall Cobb over Cole Beasley. Um, another thing I want to discuss is the uh, Cheeto, man. Now, I've been saying this since, oh, man, like week two. Like, there's no way Jordan Lewis shouldn't start over this guy. You know what I mean? I'm not, I'm not knocking Cheeto. I'm not saying that he, he should be cut. He shouldn't be on our team. Maybe he's just not the best one two corner on our team as far as Byron Jones and you know whoever's playing opposite of him. I don't believe it should be Randall Cobb. Oh excuse me. <laughs> I don't believe it should be Cheeto. I believe it should be Jordan Lewis. Period. Jordan Lewis can handle any any situation as far as corner. Like slot, nickel, dime. You've seen it. You've seen it, man. You've seen this guy make plays out of every every position um, on the backfield, on the, on the defensive end, so I can't, I can't sit up here and act like, um, like Chris Richard is excellent or he's he's making the right call by minimizing his temp, his his attempts on the field. I don't like it. I don't like it. I feel like the guy should be starting. That's just how I look at it. Now with the uh, 
now you know now we get that out of the way. Yeah, the the, the whole thing with this Cowboys team is that the way I'm looking at it right now is these guys are ready for the playoffs. It's something like um, you know when the Warriors got Kevin Durant, you didn't see the Warriors like come out and and dominate every single game in a regular season. You didn't. It was games they took off. They just didn't care. They didn't care because the prior the prior season or the season or the two prior seasons. I'm not sure which which one. You seen them uh, dominate. You seen them um, accomplish the best record in the NBA, and then you seen them lose to LeBron James. Now I know it's two different sports, but same concept. Same concept. We're we're not about to give the regular season our best best effort, or as far as um, on the scheme, as far as execution plays, we can do enough to win the division, enough to make the playoffs, and then when we get in the playoffs, we turn up, we turn up because I know people are tired of it. I'm t- like, who who really cares about these? Like, who really really cares about regular season games, man? If you're a Cowboys fan, like they don't they don't give trophies for this shit. They don't. You want a division? You want a division trophy or a division, uh, a division champs T-shirt or a, a division champs uh, <laughs> dad hat? Like, come, what the, what y'all want the, with the slippers or something? Like, come on, man, like. That like we have to understand, man. Just making the playoffs is the only goal for regular season. Some some cowboy fans, oh, we want our, I want us to have the best offensive line or the or the best offensive attack. We need to be dropping thirty points a game and all this. Like, what if none of that equals a Super Bowl? Then it's all for nothing. No nobody cares about that. No, I don't. And then y'all can sit up here and want to fire the coach that you know that pretty much gave y'all what y'all wanted oh we all want 14 wins oh we shouldn't lose to the jets oh we shouldn't do this like we shouldn't do that like hold on how many times did y'all see tom brady and bill belichick lose to the dolphins a few times man a few times the dolphins came in there snuck snuck on them and what happened the patriots won a super bowl so it's like, come on, man. Do y'all really think this because we lost to the Jets, we can't win the Super Bowl? Or y'all give up? Y'all lose faith? You can see that all the way back to my man Jordan Lewis when he put put that uh, tweet out, man. Like, what y'all panicking for? Like, why? What's the panic for? Last year, we were 3-5. and five. This year, we're 5-3. and three, And y'all acting like the world. Y'all to fire this guy. Bench this guy. I'm like, yo, hold on. Like, hold on, guy. Yo, hold on. Last year we were three and five and made the playoffs, won a division. So like that, we've been here before. Like the first eight games of this year, we're five and three. We're actually doing better than last year. But that's not good enough for Cowboys Nation. It's not good enough for y'all. Y'all want, y'all want, y'all want to, y'all want to be the best team, the best regular season team every year. Like, all right. So that's just that's just my opinion. But Going forward, man, I just think you're going to see a lot of Ezekiel Elliott. He's going to be punishing the guys. It's going to be cold. It's going to be rainy, snowy. And these are the games, man, when Zeke steps up and he and he brings the A game. So, you know, it's going to be times where you can't throw the most accurate pass or, or the passing attack has to suffice due to the weather. And that's when you see Zeke take over. Like Zeke is not washed up. He doesn't. He's not. It's it's more so to the point now where even me, I can sit up here and just think outside the box and say, how how close do you think Dak and Zeke really are? Real close. Zeke got his money. Zeke got his money. He doesn't have to go out and produce like he's done in the past because he knows just as much as you know everyone else. Regular season games, man, it really doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. Regular uh, Russian titles and all that, it really doesn't matter. It's good. It's nice to look at, you know what I mean? But it really doesn't matter. So what's, what can Zeke do to help ensure that his guy gets paid? Take some games off. Or, you know, make it, make it to where we have 
to run to be where we have to pass the ball. Where you have to where Dak has to throw the ball forty times and complete in thirty two or twenty eight uh out of the out of the thirty. I mean out of the forty. So it's come on. You gotta look at that, man. Cause you you see Dak is making the plays. Dak is making the plays. It's there. Like your Dak is gonna get his money. Is is this gonna happen? Like you you don't wanna you don't wanna play with the quarterback position. You don't wanna play with that. As much as you know all the all the 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 negative uh the negative wordplay that he receives, man, it's, it's it's shocking, man. Because you you will see you will see other teams, man, that that don't even have someone as clutch as Dak or someone as gifted as Dak, and they are they're all behind their guy, that quarterback. They give him, you know, they they're loyal to him, everything. Man, that gotta that gotta prove Cowboy fans wrong, NFL fans wrong, NFL analysts. Uh, it's crazy these these people that you know that that discuss and break down the games on a weekly basis. Like a lot of these people, they they didn't see Dak making this huge leap in his career in the first four years. If you if you go back and say, man, listen, Dak is gonna have four. 400 yard games or three four or three 400 yard games or he's going to lead the league in passing like hold on man listen dog ain't nobody i don't care who it is man i don't think nobody out here believe that Dak can lead the league in passing regardless of the injuries or who's there no no i don't care about none of that he's still number one in passing and i know a lot of people wouldn't agree with that so that's just or not agree with that but that uh, predict that you know, but that's just me. So going forward, man, it's just going to be great to see how our team really, really comes together, how we gel, and, and we're going to put it. We're going to put our foot on some next in the regular season. I'm not saying that we're not going to do that. We're going to, but for you guys to downright expect it every week when they don't give out trophies for these games, man. So just relax, man. Just get into the playoffs and we make some noise. Thank y'all for you know listening, and we're gonna keep. I'm gonna keep definitely going to keep um uploading in the future i decided you know get some things together but go ahead and like subscribe uh share comment all that man uh if you if you have a twitter go ahead and follow me on there uh just boys j-u-s-b-o-y-z j-u-s-b-o-y-z um i tweet about uh basketball also i'm a, a milwaukee bucks fan but uh it's hard. It's hard not to watch the Lakers this year. So yeah, I'll tweet about the Lakers too. Um, and that's what we're gonna keep doing, man. We're gonna keep doing this, man. Uh, at least, at least, I'm gonna try to do something at least twice a week, man, and get everything together for you guys, man. Thank everybody who supported me up up to this date uh, so far, and thanks and to all the new people that's gonna end up supporting me in the future, man. It's all it's all love, man. God bless.